Previously on the quarry. This isn't you. This this isn't you. I oh. Oh shit. God damn it. Stop. Stop squirming. Give me the train. Is she bit? Huh? How am I supposed to know? I don't know. Let me look at her. Nah. Get the fuck away from me! Oh. Oh, oh shit. Okay, I'm gonna open the door, slowly. Just keep your hands up, okay? Okay. <laughs> it's okay. Yeah. Hey everyone, it's Loopy Legs Gaming here. Now welcome back to my channel, and welcome back to another video of The Quarry. Now without further ado, sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. Ooh, chapter so, uh, seven so, passed uh, behind us. Why didn't you come? Where have you been for the past two months? We did come. One night early. That was our mistake. Ooh. So this is, oh, we're getting a flashback. So this is June 25th for Laura. That's Max. I thought you shot Max. No, I think I'm gonna leave that one. Ma'am, this is gonna get a little messy. Fuck. The fuck? What have you done to Max? Shut up. You can't just- Shut up! This is an interrogation. I ask, you answer. <clears throat> Name. Uh, compliant. Laura Kearney. Who are you traveling with? And what is your relationship? Max Brindley, he's my boyfriend. Where were you headed last night? To Hackett's Quarry Summer Camp. You already know this. What have you done with Max? No. I ask, you answer. 
That's how this works. <laughs> Angry, I ain't saying shit. Okay. Let's just keep going. Fine. What do you want to know? Oh. Well. Uh. Why are we going to Hackett's Quarry last night? Max and I are camp counselors. Oh, bullshit. Counselors aren't due until today. I told you, we drove up and got there early. We figured we'd just go to camp. Why didn't you go to the motel like I told you? Because we were, like, way closer to the camp, and we're broke. Mm -hmm. Annoyed, the sheriff badge doesn't mean a lot. Intrigued, okay, sheriff. Let's go intrigued. Okay, Sheriff. Hack it. Wait, hack it? Like, Chris hack it? Don't change the subject. What the fuck is going on here, man? Oh, so he's a hack it as well. No idea what's going on here. Not a goddamn clue. You just stepped in some grade A double prime, go ahead and kill yourself cosmic type shit, young lady. And your only option is to buckle the fuck up and do what I say. Do you understand? Please stop trying to intimidate me or angry. Stop fucking around. Please. You just stop trying to intimidate me and tell me what the fuck is going on. Is, is Max alive? I feel like I'm going crazy. No, I'm not going to bother. Don't want to make more trouble for ourselves. Let's go. Hey. Hold up. I thought you fucking... Hey, you asshole. Burst into... Like, blood went everywhere. What the fuck's going on? Or was that someone else? Concerned are you okay? Dismissive screaming isn't going to help. Are you okay? Max! Are you okay? Yeah. I mean, I'm... I'm kind of all mixed up, but... More or less intact, I think. Path updated. Hello? Let's have a look at the paths. So we got playing with fire. Emma chose not to take the fireworks with her, okay. Emma fired the shotgun when the air, yada yada yada. Emma found nothing to, left uh, of use at the fire pit. And without the fireworks, Emma was left defenseless against the hunters in the wood. Ooh. So if we had the fireworks, it might have helped us. Okay. Uh, pieces of silver. Abby came to Nick's aid, yada yada yada. Nick appreciated Abby uh, trying to help him during the attack, and Abby shot Nick with his, uh, the pool house, and he fled out the window. And Laura and Max. So Laura tried to help him. Max was concerned about Laura's well being in the prison, okay. Clues. We've got something we didn't interact with the family photo. A younger looking guy, yada, yada yada. So Kaylee's dad, however happy they once were, that's all changed now. Mm. Yeah. Oh. Why am I naked? You got underpants on, that's not naked. I mean, after we got attacked, the next thing I know, I'm waking up in a jail cell and you're gone, and now you're back again, and, and, and I'm super naked, and there's blood and stuff everywhere. I mean, what the fuck happened? Hold up, do you think that 
that when there's no thingy that they go back to yeah because that it does happen with werewolves doesn't it? is that they kind of go for they change with the with the with the full moon and then they go back to normal hmm. oh hang on there's still a clue that we've not read we've not seen Oh, spooky drawing. Among the value, okay, so here. The drawing matches the letter found at the fire pit. Kids have the scariest imaginations. That's very true. Right. So, disappointed, I was hoping you might know, or suspicious he wanted me to confess. Disappointed. I was kind of hoping you could tell me what happened. I feel like I remember bits and pieces, but none of it makes any sense. Yeah, same. I feel like... Were we drugged? I feel like maybe we were drugged. By a cop? Do they do that? Who does this guy think he is? Well, Sheriff of North Kill, apparently. North Kill? Yeah. Max! What? Did you even look at the map? Hackett's Quarry in North Kill. That's the town. Oh. <laughs> and it gets better. I gotta look at his name badge and. Oh. Get dressed. What's he giving you? Not gonna be the guest of honor at Fashion Week, I'll tell you that much. Hey! Did I say you could talk to each other? Sarcastic, don't need your permission. Go compliant. Sorry, sir. We'll be quiet. We will? Max? Hey, what'd you do with my real girlfriend? Cop didn't expect this. Alright, buddy. Hands through the bars. Come on. Your turn. Let's go. I'm not going anywhere. We can talk right here. Come on. Hey, hey. Let's get go. the fuck off. Come on. Move. Good boy. Hey, stop struggling. Worried to leave him alone. Hey, leave him alone. Yeah, leave me alone, asshole. Both of you shut up. Fuck you. I said shut up. Hey. Hey, you can't treat us like this. You're hurting it. Hey. Okay. Okay. Think, Laura. Think. There's got to be something in here you can use. Right, okay, so we have... Oh, we got a few things here. While the town of North Kill lay there sleeping, the hag in the woods started weeping. As the bodies decay, the wolves hunt their prey, and the sheriff continues his creeping. Oh, limerick. Scrawled limerick. He doesn't uh, paint a particularly favourable picture of Sheriff Hackett, and perhaps this isn't the first time he's locked someone up illegally. So what's this one here? Oh, at the end of the bed. Says. Ooh. A loose brick. Not a chance. I need some sort of lever. Uh, so it's just uh, that one over there, that there. Oh, hang on. Tarot card, the world. Ah, the world. Often travellers' paths are direct, but sometimes it's not so simple. Sometimes they're intertwined with others. Compassion over anger. 
You'll need friends uh, where you are going. It is not until we fall into the belly of the beast that we realize how perilous things can be. Oh, right. So the only other thing we can do is interact with the bed. Oh, no. A window. Oh. To leave her the brick. Nothing through there. Hmm. Watch it, man. I bruise easily. Give me a break. The second we get out of here, you're toast, motherfucker. <laughs> sure. The second you get out. You'll answer for your questions, fearful or aggressive. What's that supposed to mean, fearful? Wait, wait. You'll answer your questions, sorry. No. Answer your questions. You just can't lock us up in here with no goddamn explanation and expect us to be all butter and cupcakes, okay? Just work with us here. You have nothing to bargain with. Come on. Come on! <laughs> hmm. Hey, you can't just leave us in here! Hey! Come back! Fuck! Oh. Binky bonk. Son of a binky bonk. <laughs> Serious UK, playful, how did it go? Are you okay? It's just a foot. It'll heal. I meant the interrogation. Oh. Yeah. Can't break old Max. Many have tried, many have failed. I'm being serious, Max. He, uh... He just asked a lot of questions. A lot of weirdly specific questions about us and where we were going and why and how I was feeling this morning and I don't know. Nothing I said made him seem any less annoyed. He asked how you were feeling? Yeah. Why, he didn't ask you? No. Huh. Rude. It's <laughs> a bit rude. Did you get a look at his name badge? You mean it's not really Detective Dick Whip it? It's Hackett. Sheriff Hackett. You think he's related to Chris Hackett? Oh my god, like the Chris Hackett? Yeah. Who's the Chris Hackett? <laughs> As in camp leader Mr. Hackett of Hackett's Quarry, remember? Last night feels like a lifetime ago. The fuck does that mean, though? You know? Where we set up? Maybe it's some kind of crazy camp counselor kidnapping ring. That's... <laughs> I mean... What? Serious? Some kind of setup or reflective? It's not acting like... He's not acting like a kidnapper. Yeah, we'll go with that one. Well, I guess Sheriff Hackett's not exactly acting like a typical kidnapper, but he's not acting like a typical cop either. Well, how do you know how kidnappers act? 
I'm True. I'm trying to get us out of here, and I can't get us out of here until I have some clue of why the fuck we're in here. I don't know. What if we can't make sense of it? What? Well, you we have to. Sometimes things just don't make sense. What then? We're just stuck in a backwater jail cell for the rest of our lives? Encouraging. This isn't forever. Frustrated. Encouraging. This isn't forever, Max. You, you can't just hold us here forever. You didn't seem too convinced of that. You gotta stay positive. You can't think like that. Why not? Might as well just accept it, right? No, fuck that. Think about the rest of the summer, Max. And school? I mean, I've been dreaming about becoming a vet since I was five years old. I'm not gonna let this fleabag fuckface stop me. We're gonna get out of here. I'm gonna study to be a vet, and you're... gonna, um... What? I'm gonna what? I saw the letter, Max. Oh, yeah. What are you talking about? We snooped, didn't we? letter for college. I found it in your bag. You were poking around in my stuff? I can't believe you didn't tell me. I, I was embarrassed. Wait, your grades were good and you wrote a great essay? Yeah, apparently not good enough. You've been making plans, Max. What the fuck? I don't know. What do you want me to say? Empathetic. I'm sorry, Max. Or sarcastic. Sorry. Maybe. Sorry, I lied to you. Empathetic. I'm sorry, Max. This, this really sucks. Path updated. Hey, it's not the worst thing to happen this summer. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have kept it from you. You know you can talk to me about anything, right? Yeah. Yeah, I do. Max appreciates your sympathy. Let's have a quick look at that path update. Laura and Max. So, Laura, yada, yada, yada. Laura was sympathetic to Max over his rejection letter. Okay, let's just focus on getting out of here for now. Great, sign me up. We <laughs> need to go over it from the beginning. Like from when we left home? Like from when we ran into the cop. So after we ran into the... Whatever we ran into? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Actually, yeah, that's when shit started getting weird. The dude acted super weird when we said we almost hit an animal. You remember that? It was like he already knew or something. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, that was really sketchy. What if he's not even a real cop? Well, he's got to be dirty, but... I mean, I think he's a real cop. We're in a police station. I mean, yeah, but there's like... Nobody else around. Yeah, that is concerning. Especially the whole hack it hack it thing. Let's just go with the idea that they're both in on it. Okay. So we're supposed to meet Chris Hackett at the camp, and instead, there's nobody there, and we get attacked by something, and then the cop shows up. That part's all fuzzy for me. Like, I, I remember the steps and a smell like wet fur and a, a dog collar with the name Ian on it. Ian? Ian. I don't think it was a dog that attacked us. Whatever it was, was big. Like, person-sized big. Yeah, it really did a number on you. Like, I'm surprised you're not more messed up. Like, like, like I vividly remember the thing's teeth ripping into you. What is messed up about that is... Laura, I don't have a scratch on me. Hmm. What? Hey, okay, so weird question. Do you remember... before we got lost? You got lost? Well, yeah, but before that, I was all like, whoa, look at the moon. It's so big, so cool to see a full moon in the middle of the woods. And you were all like, yeah, no shit, Max, it happens once a month. Yeah, so? Right, so 
you know, full moon. Yeah? What if, uh... Hmm. Okay. No. Stop. I'm just saying, you know, maybe there's a slight chance it was a werewolf. Are you out of your... Guys, well, I think that's where we leave the video. Remember, if you want to help support the channel, please check out the links in the description. And thanks for watching another video of The Quarry. If you've liked it, high five that like button. And if you want to see more, be sure to smash that subscription button down below. And last but not least, remember, life's a game. So play it well. I'll see you in my next video.